Hello ma'am. Recently reservation has been in news. Can you explain us what is reservation? Uh, not only uh, from the recent times, from 1951 it is a question that whether reservation is against equality or uh, reservation is not discrimination. So uh, we face the question from social media, classrooms or in the media debates, everywhere they are questioning that reservation is against uh, equality. Let me explain from the Supreme Court's perspective. Uh, in the year of 1951 itself, there was a case in Supreme Court uh, asking that, uh, Champagam Durai Rajan case, asking that if I am not eligible to enter into an uh, uh, educational institution because you have announced a quota system based on communal order, whether it is discriminating me from admission of, a, uh, ad admission of an institution. In that case, uh, Supreme Court said that yes, it is against uh, equality and then first amendment of the constitution was introduced. In that they said affirmative action is not against equality, it is positive discrimination. To provide some people growth and development, we can discriminate them based on the caste, religion and gender that is not negatively working, it is positive discrimination. So, in that basis only we brought reservation into the seen. So, how many people are getting reservation or uh, SC, ST, OBC, there are so many categories. So, how it was provided? Originally, it was provided to SC, ST people. SC people were giving, uh, uh, getting 15 percent of reservation and ST people were getting 7 percent of reservation. How they were provided? It is not based on economical uh, background, it is based on social inclusion. Even though they have money, power, everything, whether they are socially included, that was the main criteria. Are they accessible to all the opportunities like all the other people? If it is not, then they are eligible for reservation. That is how affirmative action was taken into consideration. But after, uh, you know, there are so many uh, protests and everything, we are not represented properly. There are so many caste uh, protests and all. So, based on that, Kaka Kalelkar committee was appointed. That commission was saying, uh, we have to provide OBC reservation as well. But it was not um, taken into the consideration of the government. But then uh, there was a second important commission, Mandal Commission, which suggested there are 3,700 plus OBC communities in the country. We have to consider their development as well. So, we have to provide 27 percent reservation to o I mean, uh, OBC commission, sorry, OBC people. So, based on that, we were uh, providing it in 27 percent reservation with the help of VP Singh government it was provided, but it was questioned by Indra Sahani case that whether this reservation is against. In that only they have made capping for reservation, which means even though you provide 27 percent reservation, 15 percent for SC, 7 percent for ST, it should not violate 50 percent of your total vacancies. Like that the Supreme Court was uh, uh, providing a judgment. So, based on that we still have that 50 percent cap. In that we have recently introduced EWS that is within the 51 percent open category seats they are providing economically weaker section reservation as well. Now uh, OBC was uh, accepted from the government perspective, court perspective as a reasonable restriction. So it is valid. You mentioned about OBC, can everyone in the list of OBC can avail reservation? Yeah, in OBC we have two categories, creamy layer and non-creamy layer. Creamy layer people are someone who is excluded from the reservation of OBC, which means they belong to OBC caste, but they are not eligible for the benefits of OBC reservation. Why? Because they are already having the economical uh, I mean status as well as the social inclusion as well. They, they are already represented well. So, in that category, we are having certain criteria. Like they should not be having more than 8 lakhs income. Their parents should not be having more than 8 lakhs income. And then their parents must not belong to uh, group A or group B category. If they belong to group A or group B, they will come under creamy layer. So, if their income is more than 8 lakhs and their parents are working as group A, group B, they are under creamy layer. They are not eligible for reservation. And then uh, non-creamy layer, NCL, that category people, they are having their parents uh, income are less than 8 lakhs per annum and then their uh, parents are working with the state government or central government, but as a group C or group D officer, then they are eligible. So, in that category, non-creamy layer people are utilizing OBC reservation, creamy layer people are not allowed to utilize OBC reservation. Ma'am, how can I avail this reservation? Yeah. See, if you are an OBC community, uh, according to the state government, there are so many differences in BC, like BC, BCM uh, and then BC uh, 
every state yes. will provide some certain categories inside the reservation that will not be applicable in UPSC uh, exams or any central government jobs you cannot avail that. So there is a concept called as OBC certificate. You have to avail OBC certificate to enjoy the benefits of OBC reservation. So where you can get that I mean certificate that is from the state government but your caste must be identified as a OBC community from the center list, not from the state list, but from the center list. So, if your caste is identified as uh, OBC community and your parents are not working as group A or group B officer and your parents income is less than 8 lakhs per annum, then you can avail it from the state government and it will be valid for minimum 6 months uh, as an e-certificate, but it varies from state to state. Thank you so much ma'am, we will meet you in next video. Thank you.